Hello everyone, today we are going to see how to make a 360 turntable in Blender and export the video or image sequence. Also at the end we'll learn how to export it with a transparent background, a depth of field and a background. So let's get started. Subscribe now. So here I have my 3D model, in this case I have this, this weapon and we have some lights and a camera. So the first thing we need to do to make the, the 360 turntable is to add an empty. I'm going to press shift A, empty, and I'm going to add a cube. So here, here I have my, my empty cube. We use a, an empty because it's invisible to the camera. And now I'm going to animate the cube. So I'm going to make sure you are in, in in the frame zero and in the viewport 3D, the cursor in the viewport 3D, press I to insert a new keyframe and choose rotation. So now if you open this sidebar, you're going to you're going to notice that the rotation is yellow. This is because we now have a, a keyframe in this frame. Go to the last frame in in my case is 300 you can go to the frame that you want rotate the cube r set 360 intro so now i rotated the cube 360 degrees and again press i for insert a new keyframe and choose rotation and now we have two keyframes, the first one with 0 degrees and the last one with 360 degrees. If I go back, you're going to see that the, the angle is changing and the cube is rotating. So if you go to the frame 0 and press play, now the cube is animated. You will notice also that the cube is accelerating and disaccelerating. I'm going to show you this in the graph editor so you can see the, the animation curves. This is the animation curve of the rotation in the set axis. Frame 0, frame 300, 0 degrees, 360 degrees. As you can see, there is an interpolation. So there is acceleration and disacceleration. To reduce this effect, you can select everything with A, press B to change the interpolation of the, of the curves, and choose Vector. Now everything is straight, and if you go back to the timeline, and rewind and press play, there is no acceleration or disacceleration. The last step is to select your model, then select the, the empty with shift click and then press control P to set a parent so the weapon will be child of the empty of the cube and here you select you need to select object keep transform. So now if the cube rotates the weapon will also rotate. So if you press play now the weapon and the empty rotates at the same time. So that's it. In this, in this way you can make a turn table 360 very easy and it's, it's, it's a loop. So now we need to render our scene as an image sequence or as a video. Go to the output properties and in the output section, select the folder you want you want to save or store your image sequence or video. In my case, I created this uh, this folder 360. Select the name, click accept, and here in the in the options you can select an image sequence, for instance PNG, or different options for videos. In my case, I selected PNG 
and with PNG you can also select the option RGB or if you want transparent background you need to select RGB A. RGB is for red, green, blue and the A is for alpha. Alpha is the channel that stores transparency. Also, if you want transparency, you need to go to the render settings, the render properties, and go to the film section and turn on transparent. So if, if you don't turn on this option, you will see in the render, you will see the background like so. If you turn on the transparency, now the background will be transparent. So with these options, with transparency or without transparency, go to render and choose render animation. This way, Blender will render from zero to 300 or whatever you have your setup and will save an image sequence or a video. Now let's see how to add an environment texture for the background and how to create the depth of field effect. So the first thing we need to do is to turn off the transparent option so we can see the background and then go to the word properties and here you can load an image for the background. So click in color, select environment texture, choose open. In my computer, I have some textures already. For instance, HDRIs. The HDRIs are something similar, similar like, like 360 images. And I have this old uh, factory. So I'm going to select this one, click open. And that's it. So when I click render, I'm going to see the background. That's the background. If you want to make it a little bit darker, just reduce the strength like so. And now we have the background and the weapon. As you can see, the background is perfectly sharp. So now I'm going to add the depth of field effect. So first select Shift A, press Shift Shift A, empty sphere. With this sphere, we are going to set up where the camera is going to make focus. For instance, here, or maybe a little bit closer to the camera. And now select the camera, clicking in the border of the of the frame. Go to the camera options camera options and here you can turn on the depth of field select this empty so now the camera is going to make focus in this empty and by default this is set up something like 2.5 uh, so if you render with this uh, with this setup you won't see too much the, the depth of field effect. So I'm going to reduce this number so you can see better the effect, like 0.2. So now you can see that it's blurring the background. So that's it. So we added the environment texture, we added the depth of field effect, and now you can render the animation or the your 10 table 360 video uh, with the depth of field and with the environment uh, background. So I hope this could be useful for you. Like the video, share it and see you next time.